call to order the North Aurora Village Board meeting of Monday, January 4th, 2021. And we'll open with a silent prayer meditation. Please join me in a pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance Legions. to the flag, flag. Of the United, United States, States of America, America. and to the republic for which it stands, stands. One, one nation, nation under, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. We have roll call, please. Mayor Berman? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. Trustee Curtis? Here. Trustee Gaffino? Here. Trustee Gately? Here. Trustee Lowry? Here. And Trustee Martinez? Here. Very good. We don't have any audience comments, uh, David? No, Mayor Berman, I did not see anyone. Uh, any trustee comments at this time? Consent agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gaffino? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Trustee Martinez? Yes. Very good. Under new business, well, item number one, Mr. Toth. Thank you, Mayor. Um, number one is an ordinance granting a special use to allow for the expansion of an adult use cannabis dispensing organization at 161 South Lincoln Way. Um, this went to Planning Commission on December 1st, public hearing with the unanimous recommendation for approval and was last discussed by the Village Board on December 21st at the Committee of the Whole meeting. Motion approved. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Trustee Carroll? No. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gaffino? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Trustee Martinez? Yes. Very good. Item number two, Mr. Toth. See, item number two is an ordinance granting a special use um, to allow for the expansion of a place of worship at 307 Banbury Road. Again, this item was discussed by the Plan Commission on December 1st with the unanimous recommendation for approval and discussed by the Village Board on the December 21st at the Committee of the Whole meeting. Motion, motion approved. approved. Second. Second. So we have a motion and a second discussion. Roll call, please. Trustee Carroll. Yes. Trustee Curtis. Yes. Trustee Gaffino? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Trustee Martinez? Yes. Very good. And for item number three, Mr. Toth. Yeah, item number three is the accompanying ordinance for site plan review, which is an ordinance approving the site plan for the property at 307 Banbury Road. Motion approved. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gaffino? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Trustee Martinez? Yes. And item number four, Mike. Number four is a, resolu a resolution approving Route 31 TIP aside grant funding in the amount of $12,216 to the property located at 12 John Street. Uh, that is Sharon Care's tip aside grant for a new entry covered way and four window canopies. Again, this item was discussed by the village board on December 21st with the community of the whole. Motion, Motion to approve. approve. Second. Discussion. I think it's great that they're taking advantage of this tip. Yes, indeed. It's yeah. going to be a, a great improvement for 
or not only the looks, but the functionality of this this building. So I think I'm proud that they're doing it. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Carroll. Yes. Trustee Curtis. Yes. Trustee Gaffino. Yes. Trustee Gately. Yes. Trustee Lowry. Yes. And Trustee Martinez. Yes. And item number five, Chief Fisher. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. Uh, on this issue, staff is seeking to update the ordinance that governs emergency management and in in an intergovernmental agreement with the North Aurora Fire Department. Uh, by doing so, we would also update the name from North Aurora Emergency Services Management Agency to North Aurora Emergency Management Agency, just shortening it a little bit, uh, which that name is pretty much standard in this area. We'd also be able to separate the current CERT program of volunteers from an emergency management function and uh, leave CERT volunteers to uh, more of a neighborhood type program like it was originally intended. All of this was presented to the North Aurora Citizen Corps Council on October 28th, 2020, and then presented to the Services Committee on December 21st, 2020. Motion approved. Motion approved. Second. Second. Roll call. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gaffino? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Trustee Martinez? Yes. All right. I remember. Sick, Mr. Laskowski. Thank you, Mayor. Um, good evening, Mayor and Village Trustees. The Public Works Department is requesting the purpose purchase of a Freightliner five yard plow and dump truck in the amount of $164,644 through the Sourcewell Joint Purchasing Program. This truck was budgeted for the current fiscal year and if approved could be delivered as early as September, 2021, which is pretty quick for um, these types of trucks. When we were evaluating and considering the different purchasing options, we looked at two programs, the state purchasing program, which is the program we purchased the last couple trucks through and the source well joint purchasing program. Um, both of these programs leverage the buying power of its members. And so with the state purchasing program, they bid the um, vehicles out and the lowest bid gets the contract with the state. And then the uh, municipalities in the state of Illinois are all eligible to bid on the, the, the purchase of the vehicles. Similarly, Sourcewell does the same thing, but it does on a nationwide scale, and it um, generally works for municipalities and nonprofit agencies. So this year, um, the state bid was won by International, and the Sourcewell um, company, or the Sourcewell program, offered a Freightliner vehicle. And in this instance, the, the village prefers, um, our staff prefers the Freightliner vehicles because the vehicle rides a little bit higher. And with that higher vantage point, we can, um, it's a little safer just because you can get a better view of your surroundings. Um, the past three trucks that we purchased in 2016, 18, and 19 were all Freightliners. And we've had good performance out of all three of them up to this point. And it also maintains uniformity in, in our fleet. So. Despite the Freightliner being $2,268 more than the International, um, at this point, both trucks would still be under the budgeted price, but staff would prefer the Freightliner. Um, if this purchase was approved, the new vehicle would replace our oldest vehicle in the fleet, which is number 176. It's a 16-year-old vehicle, and in the past four years, it's had $17,000 in repairs to it. Um, if it were to go to auction, we believe this vehicle could get between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars. But in this instance, what we're requesting is that we retain the vehicle in-house and use it for a backup. And the purpose for, for that is we we'd put it into a limited use situation, and we'd use the vehicle to assist in leaf collection, and in situations when we have a plow breakdown during snowplow season. So, for instance, in this last snow event, we had two trucks go down. And while one of the drivers stayed and attempted to repair both of those vehicles, the other driver had to pick up, 
had to use a, a pickup to continue plowing, which is a lot more inefficient. And in addition to make up for the other vehicle that was down, we relied on um, our contractor, Tri County, to do the plowing. If we were able to retain a vehicle, um, it would give us some flexibility and allow us to account for um, service interruptions that um, occur occasionally when snow plowing. So it's um, right now the village does have $170,000 budgeted in the vehicle and equipment fund. Um, Public Works is re requesting the purchase of this Freightliner vehicle in the amount of $165,644. Uh, if you have any detailed questions about the purchase, Street Superintendent Brian Richter here is here with me to uh, answer any of your questions. Thank you. Motion approved. Second. Discussion. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, people love plows and they love the, the work uh, you guys done and, uh, you know, good equipment. You know, it's hard to do that. I personally think you need a couple backups. Sometimes one might not be enough. So, you know, I don't know how the next one's coming down the pipe, but, you know, having a couple of backup trucks, um, you know, it's kind of critical because that's, you know, people weigh how the village does based on how, what's done for them in their neighborhood and sidewalks, um, you know, plowing. And, um, you know, we've always been the first in the area to seem like the roads are clean and ready to go, you know, so it's really a tip of the cap to Public Works, Brian and the staff and, and the whole village, you know, it can make it a, um, a priority to, you know, something we're proud of. So I only had one question for Brian. Will that plow um, be interchangeable with some other ones um, or not or? The, the snow plows will be yes. Yeah. All of our all of our snow plows except for one truck are the same. So any at any time if a, a snow plow can break, um, it can be switched out with another snow plow. So yes. Right. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Well, that's all I got. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a good idea to have a, a fresh plow because we do want to make sure that our streets are clean and, the, and our streets seem to do better than Aurora and Savia. And I, I do agree on the uh, backup. So um, good idea. Yeah, I agree. You know, we've all been very proud of our street maintenance and street uh, snow plowing, and uh, we've uh, we've always touted that. Uh, I know this last snow plowing there was several breakdowns of some nature. Um, Brian, do we always have staff available to uh, repair those things that go wrong and? Uh, we have not in the past. However, this this past few years, uh, Turi Paulson has really stepped up for us and uh, done a lot with uh, getting trucks and our vehicles back on the road. So um, I have to give him credit for that. Well, it's great to have his talent and his availability to do that. Otherwise, I think that uh, you know, that's important is having other other vehicles. I was noticing on the county board the other day that we're we're not buying one, we buy multiple trucks. So it's a, a different story. Larger budget. <laughs> As you always say, uh, Gately, uh, money can do anything, right? Yeah, that's true. All right, do we have roll call? Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gaffino? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. And Trustee Martinez. Yes. Very good. Well, that concludes our new business. I have no old business. Uh, village president report. I guess I'm uh, announcing something that uh, is not really a surprise, but uh, next meeting, January 18th, will be my last as your mayor. So I'm going to retire from Okay. Yeah. Luckily, uh, Trustee Gaffino is uh, waiting in the wings. He's running unopposed. So we have uh, great uh, continuity. Uh, you won't have to retrain anyone. So I think that's great. But, uh, huh. Hey, you left us good. Pardon? No, you left us in good shape, Dale. Uh, <laughs> you know, big shoes to fill, you know, here. You'll be missed. I, I agree with that, Dale. I think you've done a fantastic job as mayor over the years. So. Yes. Thank you very much for your service. 
Oh yes. yeah, very good. Well, it's been it's been fantastic, and we've had a, we've really had a good board, uh, especially you know the last uh, last couple the last four or eight years, I guess. But it's uh, it really has been been fun. Congratulations, I Dale. I, thank you. I suppose I'll have more to say next week, but uh, All right. none of you were around when I left mayor in 1989. And I had my swan song, which I gave from the podium, and then I walked off and tripped as I left. The <laughs> left. <laughs> you know, it's a great way to go. <laughs> so anyway, but it's been fun, and I just want you to know that. And our next meeting will be my last. So uh, that's my only uh, my only announcement to make. Committee report. Trustee comments? Yeah, I, I just had the comment, like uh, I mentioned to you, Dale, about the puppy mills and the ordinance that Aurora is working on. And Naperville has a puppy ordinance, uh, I'm, I should say puppy mill ordinance, that um, a few of the, the aldermen that I've talked to from Aurora are a little concerned that once they put their ordinance into effect that the puppy mills will move to North Aurora. So I, I'm just thinking maybe we want to keep an eye on that uh, in the near future. Well, I think it's great to be proactive, and I think Steve yes. has already said that Michael will look into that. So. Yes. But I think that's, uh, you know, if we're, if we're aware of what's going on in the surrounding community, we certainly want to be the jump in and make sure that we don't caught up in the same. Yes. That maybe they have. So very good. Any other comments, trustees? Mr. Bosco? I have no comment tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Attorney. I need to unmute. I, I was in law school, Dale, in 1989. So, uh, but I, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to, to uh, work with you all these years and, and you'll be missed. Listen, your dad took good care of me back in 89, so. <laughs> I was waiting in the wings, kind of like Mark is now, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Village Department reports, finance, <clears throat> Mr. Hanna. Report, um, just uh, congratulations on your retirement, Mayor, and uh, Happy New Year. Very good. Community development, Mr. Toth. Yeah, first, Dale, congrats. It's been great working with you. Definitely a visionary. Always have your eyes on the uh, big prize, so it's always been a pleasure. Uh, but I just want to make note that tomorrow is the official public hearing for the Valley Green Golf Course Development with Opus. Uh, so it'll be at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. I think we all want to be in on that. It's yeah. Really, it's, uh, it's really, it's important to us. We got how many years have we discussed it? So here we are at the, uh, at the final end, you know, it's like uh, crossing the finish line. So I'm sure we're all going to be involved in that. Great. Anything else, Mike? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, Chief Fisher. I just want to say you've uh, been one of the best bosses I've ever had, uh, Mayor. So uh, congrats, and I'm sure I'll see you around town. But uh, that's hey, all not? I've got to say. Yeah, we're sure not leaving town. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Public Works, Mr. Laskowski. Hi, Mayor. Yeah, I don't have a report. Uh, congratulations on your retirement, and I look forward to seeing you at some of those uh, uh, KKCOM meetings in oh, the future. transportation meetings? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's not one of my... Oh, yes, it is too, one of my committees. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, very good. We have uh, no executive session. We have no cow. Entertaining a motion for adjournment for the evening. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We're adjourned. Thank you very much.